This video is designed to help navigate through the website in order to download and play the virtual reality games. Um, once you get to the site, you would uh, click on or hold, hover over virtual reality games, go to the game that you're interested, and you'll notice that this card game has documentation as well as the game files. Documentation includes both the prerequisite skills, knowledge and skills you need, the learning objectives, um, what kind of software is needed, and then the materials that are provided. It also includes specific step-by-step -step directions for the game or activity. The game itself is um, in a zip file um, that includes an executable file, and so once you download that to your computer, you simply open up the card game. And this particular game helps focus um, students on the 10 principles. Um, so this would be a review game after learning about these principles. Or maybe some initial exposure if you just want them to experiment um, with playing the game to uh, learn from it. The directions state that you click on Deal, and so you would deal a card. Two programs run and one program crashes. Gives you a scenario, and then what your job is, um, is to choose which of the cybersecurity principles um, this relates to. So you read about each one, you choose one, and submit answer. It will then tell you if you're right or wrong, and then tell you the correct answer. <clears throat> All right, the next game is, um, or example of a virtual reality game, is Cybersecurity Night Game. And here, uh, students have the chance to be in a virtual reality environment, and it teaches them um, the idea of um, physical security for network and data centers and um, students have the opportunity to participate in another situation based game um, the directions tell you the students exactly what to do and then what's really nice um, once they are finished with the activity is there are some discussion questions so you can engage the class in further discussion um, about what they have learned through this activity. Give you an idea of what this looks like. Uh, I think the direction is said to enter the car. You basically use the um, WASD keys and then you rotate the camera by using the mouse. So I'm going to try to enter the gate here. Uh oh, it's blocked. So I'm going to try to talk to somebody. Uh, sure, I'll show the ID. Okay, should be good. Oops. Yep, gate is open. So I'll walk through Oops. and enter the network center. Or have additional people that I talk to and interact with, <clears throat> all while learning the different principles for how to keep a safe center. network center. And that's how you access and use the games.